In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Lambda function in AWS console using Python. So even if you are a beginner in AWS Lambda and you do not have any prior experience of uh, dealing with AWS Lambda functions or creating Lambda functions, don't worry. We will walk you through all the steps involved in creating a Lambda function. And while we are at it, I'll also explain you some concepts of AWS Lambda. So let's get started. So firstly, um, there are two ways of creating a Lambda function. So one is you can, uh, when you don't have any external dependencies, you can directly create a Lambda function using AWS console. And uh, if you have any external dependencies, like let's say Pandas or NumPy or anything, uh, any external packages that you're using, we need to create a Lambda deployment package. Uh, and we add all our dependencies into that and we zip it and then we upload that zip folder into the Lambda console. So this is the second way which we are going to cover in the next video. So in this video, we will just see how to create a basic Lambda function without any external dependencies. Okay, um, so first thing is we are in, we need to open the Lambda console. So basically you can uh, go here and search for Lambda and when you click on Lambda, you will be directed to this console. So this is how the AWS Lambda console looks like. So once you are here, you can you know uh, click on create function here. So basically um, the functions is what like, I mean, if you have any functions, it, they show up here, okay? So let's click on create function here. And these are the different ways um, in which you can create an AWS Lambda function. So for the purpose of this video, we will uh, select this option, which is author from scratch, which means that um, we need to uh, like, I mean, write the code in the console itself. So well, let's choose this option and uh, let's call our, let's name our Lambda anything like, uh, let's say Lambda sample or something. So the second thing that you need to configure is the runtime. So basically the runtime is the language in, in which you write your code, right? So these are the languages that the Lambda supports. You can write your code in any of these languages. So, but let's select Python, okay? And architecture, I'm gonna leave it default and the permission. So this is a very important concept here, okay? So permissions is basically like, I mean, if your Lambda code uh, has any, you know, code like to uh, reading the data from s3 or writing the data to s3 so it needs to have those permissions to read or write the data to s3 right so you need to attach such iam role to this lambda which has all those permissions so if you already have created the role you can select this use an existing role and you can you know select the role here so if you don't have the role you can i mean create a new role here as well but like i mean if you don't need any special permissions, you just need, we are just going to create a simple Lambda function uh, where we are not going to do any, you know, any of the complex operations. So you can select this new role with basic Lambda permission. So what AWS does is it creates a basic, I mean, it creates an IAM role with basic permissions, like, you know, um, uh, being able to run the Lambda and, you know, CloudWatch or stuff like that. And it attaches that IAM role to your Lambda. So let's select this one. And in the later part, I'll also show you how to create an, you know, IAM role and stuff like that. Okay. So since we're going to create a simple function, we'll select this one. So uh, advanced settings, I'm just going to leave it uh, as it is. So once you're done with the, here, the, all these configurations, you can click on create function here. So it will take some time to get created because it needs to create that, you know, IAM role and attach to your, um, Lambda. So let's wait for some time. So yeah, my Lambda function is uh, created now. Okay. So once your function is created, this is how it looks like. Okay. Um, so here is where you can, you know, ha add your code basically. So, um, this is how it looks. And I mean, if you need to do any configurations, extra configurations, these are the, you know, uh, steps. So let, let, let us quickly take a look at, you know, what are the different configurations and, you know, settings that are available here. Okay. So first uh, tab that you see is for code. Basically you write your code here and you know, uh, this is the code that you run, uh, the Lambda runs basically. And test is something if you want to pass any uh, sample input or you know, sample test event to your Lambda, you can create that uh, here. And when you trigger the Lambda, uh, basically this event, the event that you create here will be uh, passed to this basically this event, I mean, this event variable. So we will see how that happens uh, when we run the Lambda, okay? So monitor is something, uh, here is where you can, you know, see your logs when, once the, you know, function runs. And the configurations, there are, you know, different configurations that you can do. So the first thing is here, uh, the memory, which is like, I mean, the minimum 128 MB and 
I left it as default. So the timeout, which is this is one of the most important parameters. So basically, um, if you have timeout set to three seconds, and if your code takes more than three seconds, a lambda will fail, saying that uh, you know the timeout error. Okay. So make sure you edit this. Like if you have a lot of you know uh, logic which needs more than um, three seconds, right? So let's say my uh, code needs one minute, right? So let's say I'll keep it one minute zero seconds. Okay. So and I'll click on save here. So now the timeout is changed to one minute and triggers is basically, I mean, you can add a trigger, uh, which will trigger this Lambda, which I'll explain at a later part in this video. Okay. And the permissions, like I said, uh, this is the Lambda sample role that got created uh, in the backend, like I was uh, telling you earlier with some basic permissions. So you can go to this uh, IAM role and add any permissions that you need, which we will see uh, in the later section of this video. And yeah, destination. So if you have any destination where your Lambda needs to, uh, you know, invoke something or do something, you can add your destination here. So basically trigger is something which uh, starts your Lambda function and destination is something your Lambda function, you know, does at the end of it. Okay. So environment variables you can add. Uh, I mean, if you have any environment variables, you can add it like, I mean, uh, add environment variable and, you know, you can, it's a key, basically key value, key value pair, which can be used. Uh, in the lambda function as an environment variable okay so there are a lot of other things which i'm not going to go into detail now so like uh, stuff like vpc and all those like there's a those are outside the scope of this video so yeah those are the you know basic things that you need to know um, about lambda so let's run this lambda function okay so what does it say it, it just like i mean in this lambda function basically Whenever you trigger a Lambda function, Lambda handler is the one which uh, runs. Basically, whatever code you treat of treat Lambda handler like a you know um, main function which runs when you trigger a Lambda function. Okay, and so uh, let's just remove this code and let's do. Um, you can write whatever you want, right? So let's just put uh, hello from AWS main is it? Okay, and you can run it. And like I said, you can pass any test event here. So let's uh, take this. Let's try to print this event as well. Okay. So um, the event that we will pass. Okay. So when you are ready, just like click on deploy. So when you click deploy, the changes will be deployed and then click on test to run your Lambda function. So you can configure your test event here. So event name, I'll tell ABC and event JSON, you can pass anything here. Okay. So I'll click on save here and then I'll click on test. So now our Lambda function is running. Okay. So if you see here, this is the event that we passed. So it printed the event and it also printed hello from AWS made easy and that's all it then um, ended. So this is how, uh, you know, you see the logs basically. So if you want to see the logs in detail, like, I mean, uh, using CloudWatch, you can go to the monitor tab here and you see those uh, data here. So it takes some, some time to, um, you know, update this, but this is where you can see. So now uh, you have seen the basic Lambda function. So let's um, do some interesting stuff now, okay? So um, let's modify our Lambda function to read data from um, S3, let's say, okay? So I have some file here in my S3 bucket, uh, which is this, and this is a JSON data basically. So we will see how we can read S3 data using, um, you know, Python in Lambda. Okay, so if you just want to uh, see the data, I'll just show it for you uh, how it looks. So this is the data that we have. Okay, so we will read this data um, using our Lambda function. So I have already um, added the code to basically read the data from um, S3 bucket. So basically what we are doing is we are just using the Boto3 library and we're creating an S3 resource and uh, and just uh, loading that you know object data into this file object and then i'm uh, just decoding the contents and then i'm using json.loads to basically load it uh, into this json data variable and i'm just printing the json data i mean the info of that okay so basically um if you see here this is what it needs to print so let's see if this works basically so i mean um, as i said earlier it will not work because we do not have permissions to um 
read the data from S3 and we are uh, still trying to read the data from S3 here. So obviously it will fail, but uh, I'll just show you, uh, I mean, the exact error message so that I mean, it gives you a better picture. So if you see here, the error, um, okay, so it says content object is not defined. So I think, okay, it needs to be file object here. My bad. Okay, so let's deploy it and let's run the code. It should say that basically there is no access to read the data. Okay, so if you see here, there is the error clearly says an error occurred access denied when calling the get object operation access denied. So it basically means that this Lambda function is trying to access um, a file in this S3 bucket, but it does not have access to do so. So what do we need to do? We will go to configuration here and in the permissions. So basically we will add those permission to this IAM role. I'm um, basically the permission to read the data from S3. Okay. So, I mean, uh, I'm just showing you the case for S3. So if you're doing any other thing, right? Like basically, I mean, if you are writing to data to S3, you need to add write permissions. And if you're using some uh, other you know, service, you need to add permissions for that service basically. So yeah, let's say, uh, I mean, let's attach, uh, let's add permissions and let's attach policies and I'll search for S3 here. Mm. And I'll just give Amazon S3 full access. I mean, it's not a best practice. You just, you always need to give only the permissions that you need uh, for that particular operation. So, but here let's just uh, give Amazon S3 full access to this. And I'm gonna click on attach policies. And it says a policy has been successfully attached to the role. So now let's go back to the Slamda and see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna click on test now. Yep. So if you see here uh, in the logs, you can see that the info is getting printed. So the info, uh, what we printed is JSON data of info, which is this name, age, and salary, which is getting uh, which is getting printed here in the execution results. So this is how you add permissions to your Lambda functions if you need uh, any additional permissions, basically. So yeah, that's how you create a Lambda function and, you know, um, add permissions and run your Lambda functions and, you know, debug your code, basically. So I hope I was able to uh, give you a clear picture on, you know, how to get started with AWS Lambda. So in the next uh, video, I'll uh, show you how to create a Lambda function using deployment package. So if we have some, you know, libraries like, you know, Pandas or NumPy that uh, we, we need to use in our code. So we cannot directly import that here, right? So this is where we need a deployment package. So in the next video, I'll show you how to do that. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.